So uh, today I'm going to present a uh, short one because it's actually a long day for all of us, I'm sure. So uh, basically, we are trying to do uh, something to track our own uh, wealth, whether it's crypto or non-crypto. But we are starting off in crypto. Because I think uh, just now all the amazing apps and uh, the business model, like Spiking and other uh, uh, you know, companies, they have been amazing. So, uh, have you ever wondered that how much crypto you have if anyone owns crypto? I, I don't think we can really track real time right Even with some of the apps right now, it's not possible. You know, and uh, you cannot tell by the minute or by the even by the seconds that how it can happen. But what if we can do that? You know, this is one thing. And then uh, basically we are trying to create uh, something called light. Why I call it light? Because I think we are always bothered about all the technicalities of how to lock in, how to track, how to trade, you know, which is uh, some of the uh, companies here are also trying to solve this problem. Okay, and then uh, we are not here to compete, we are here to integrate some of the services and companies and platforms, okay, so that uh, we can actually get some information useful for the user. So this 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 app right it will include uh, actually big 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 data uh, marketplace. Okay, but right now, uh, let me show you a. Uh, so basically, you can see your portfolio within uh, one snapshot on the top level view, how much uh, you have. And you, in, in fact, uh, we are actually trying to integrate some modules of the uh, current wealth uh, creation modules. That is, I mean, uh, wealth module that can track the non traditional uh, type of uh, crypto asset. Uh, the, the, sorry, the traditional type of uh, non-crypto asset, which is your own uh, personal wealth. Okay, so uh, basically, but we start with crypto first because I think this is one of the areas that is quite lacking in the area. Yeah, and then we are also doing some wealth management and inheritance management because a lot of cases where people don't know uh, how to manage their, their wealth in crypto, you know, and then uh, uh, furthermore, the inheritance part, uh, a lot of, uh, you have you heard about news that some billionaire, millionaire died, but they couldn't give their private key to the, uh, what you call that, the, their family members. And later part, you know, the, the inheritance ju just got lost because basically they couldn't access the private key and the password. Have you heard, ever heard of all these cases? It's actually quite uh, common in the area of those space. In fact, I have so many passwords that I also cannot remember how many passwords I have. I'm sure some of you uh, here has the same uh, issue. So basically, it's one of the areas. And then, basically, from here, right, you can actually track uh, your crypto asset to a graphical format. Okay, uh, the thumb changes in the whole thing. Yeah, and uh, you can track also. Uh, we are still improving on the user interface, but basically, you can track more than uh, more than uh, five to six hundred cryptocurrency right now. Especially the ERC20 tokens, which is the main probably 70-80% of the token are there. So basically is uh, you can see here right, there's also a like here you can also track other people's address uh, like the Binance addresses. So which has about uh, 168,000 BTC in, in the whole address. Okay, so uh, basically, okay, well, about one million dollars. So uh, and then you can actually create address book from here. Okay, so let's say for example, you want to create some uh, BDC address, you can actually log in here and uh, let me just show you a quick example. Uh, okay, so
So you can actually add some addresses in, and then from there you can see your portfolio that is uh, you know is, is being added. So Bitfinex also got uh, quite a few number of uh, 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 Bitcoin addresses. Okay. So uh, basically, what we are trying to do is to personalize your whole uh, experience in the crypto world. Okay, and then uh, eventually incorporating into the uh, traditional world because I think this gap is very big. So we are also trying to do some uh, trading online. Uh, what I meant by trading is that it's more on peer to peer, but we can do also KYC. So this is uh, like uh, have you ever wonder? Uh, I mean, have you ever to look at shape sheet before? It's something like shape sheet, but we are actually tweaking to a very peer to peer model. But we are also trying to do uh, KYC from that. Okay. So basically, uh, which is um, some user validation stuff. Okay. But basically, you want to get the convenience of user to actually be able to uh, do some, uh, you know. Have, have you ever seen the OTC trade, right? OTC trade, uh, I think a lot of people is trying to say, hey, I want to buy Bitcoin at this price. Can someone, uh, uh, can someone contact me? So every time there's a gap uh, between the, uh, you know, uh, a lot of OTC trade because oh, yeah. now there's a lot of gap in OTC trade, uh, the user and seller has to every, every time meet together. So we're trying to create a system that user and seller don't have to necessarily meet uh, all together. And then it can apply to the uh, uh, fiat gateway also. So uh, basically we want to have a very, very easy way of trading. Even trading through the API keys, which is quite common now, but I think the user experience is still not there. So these are the, some of the basic things uh, going on. So basically, we are trying to be a like very borderless, uh, type, platformless type of uh, uh, what what you call it, the payment solution and trading solution. So uh, we want user, okay, in a nutshell, right? Don't leave the account, but try to do a lot of things from there. <coughs> So, and then it can be a social interaction platform where we create a social interaction from there. So, which is uh, what we are heading to. So, I go back to the slides now. Uh, Mr. Karthi is one of the peer-to-peer -peer foundation. Back before Bitcoin's days, there's a peer-to-peer -peer foundation. Now still exists. Uh, one of the uh, ambassador to the whole uh, ecosystem of uh, blockchain. So, basically, uh, he's also uh, one of the global speakers. I think so, I'm sure some of you have met him before. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, these are some of the new uh, interfaces that's going to come up. Plus, now we are doing some uh, cosmetic because uh, we are quite, quite okay with the back end. The only problem is our front end right, wasn't, wasn't uh, that solid. So, it's going to be more, uh, uh, what do you call that? more improvised. Yeah. So basically, what we are trying to do is that, in a nutshell, for the uh, whole uh, thing is that we are trying to be uh, a social interaction platform, but yet we can do certain stick things like uh, payment stuff, trading stuff, and then uh, we also have some wealth management and big data management. Yeah, we are we are trying to work with platforms. We are not trying to be a very big platform from there for for a start. Yeah, so. Uh, Yeah. So basically, you can also see your own personalized data from there, which is, uh, you know, um, some users will like it. Yeah. But of course, when the market is down, users will turn it off. Say, why don't you notify me when uh, it's maybe three months later or one year later when it's up? So we also have that feature in here. Mm. So we can also set an notification and uh, we have an email for now, but uh, we have in, in, actually implementing a telegram stuff to notify. So it will be quite uh, user friendly and then even SMS and other stuff. So uh, you can even do, uh, the user can also do if they want some basic user verification and then some uh, what you call KYC stuff uh, for, for trading. So basically this is the uh, presentation. With that I think I'll end my presentation. Thank you everyone for